Hi everybody, this is Matt here from DumbPassiveIncome.com and today I want to show you a few tools and strategies that I'm using to find products to private label and sell on Amazon via FBA. So as you can see in the corner of my computer, it's January 1st, 2016. And I'm kind of looking at this as turning over a new leaf in my online business and I guess you could say I'm jumping on the bandwagon of finally private labeling a product and sourcing from China to ship to Amazon and sell on FBA. Just over the past year I've just been watching way too many people jump on this bandwagon and, and have a ton of success and it's just something I can't ignore any longer so I gotta do it. So for a couple of weeks now I've been jumping hardcore into learning this business and learning how to research and find products and starting to source my first product already so I just wanted to show you a few things on a video here. So this is going to be a basic kind of how to find a product to source on Amazon video. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is kind of find the popular products, things that are already selling on Amazon, just to start to get some product ideas. So we want to look at the Amazon Best Sellers page, and I found the easiest way to find that is just to Google Amazon Best Sellers. It's the first thing that comes up, so you click on that. That brings us over to Amazon and this is the best sellers page. And then over on the left hand side all the different main Amazon categories are listed. So you want to just kind of start randomly clicking around or, or maybe look for a category that interests you and, and just start clicking and, and seeing what's selling already. So we're going to try Home and Kitchen to start out. And from here this is going to show you the top 100 selling items on Amazon and Home and Kitchen. It lists them 20 at a time on a page. And if you want to see the next 20, you would click here and so on. But typically, we don't really want to look at the main category in Amazon, the top 100. We want to drill into the subcategories. So within Home and Kitchen, there's all these different subcategories. So we'll try this first one, Kids Home Store, and see what's in there. So again, this is going to pull up the top 100 items in Kids Home Store. And again, it shows 20 per page, and you can click around and see the next 20 if you want to. So what you do, you just kind of look around, and if, if you have a price range in mind, you want to kind of look, at, look for products that are in your price range, and just start to get ideas. So after kind of showing you the manual way to do that, I wanted to show you a tool that actually makes this process a lot easier. This tool, these four tools right here, all come in Amasuite. You pay one price for Amasuite and you get all four of these tools. And the first one I'm going to show you is the Azon Top 100 Analyzer. So this kind of does the same thing that I just showed you in Amazon, but a lot easier and faster. So you choose Amazon for your site. We want to look at best sellers. We could also look at these other things if we want to, but we're looking at best sellers. We're going to go to the home and kitchen category again, and we'll look at the kids' home store again. Then you hit the green button, and it starts to extract data for the top 100 in home and kitchen kids' home store. And if we expand that, we can kind of drag this over so we can see the titles and start to get an idea of what's the top 100 selling in this subcategory. If you want, we can sort by sale price. Right now it's lowest to highest. If you click it again, it'll change it highest to lowest. And I want to kind of look in around the $20 price range, $20 to $25. So I just kind of scroll down and I can see all these in the middle. Um, you can see what the products are rating. You can see how many reviews each are getting. So I'm just going to kind of look at these titles over here. Okay, so one other thing that you can do within this tool, click this Get More Data button and it'll show you the, the main category that the item is listed in, the rank, the weight, and who it ships by. So I'm going to go ahead and click that while we're looking. Extract All Data and this takes a minute to pull everything up so I'm just gonna pause the video while it does all that real quick okay as you can see it's just about done 
pulling in data for all 100 of these items. And now I can see the main category that each item is listed in, its main rank. This is known as the best sellers ranking, which people refer to as BSR. Also the weight of the product and who ships it. So whether it's FBA fulfilled, Amazon fulfills it, or merchant fulfilled is another option. I don't see any on here. So we just kind of look through. I'm looking for products around twenty dollars. I'm just kind of looking at the titles to see what they are. A crib mattress, a nightlight projector, breathable mesh crib liner, a mobile, baby shampoo. So I'm kind of interested in this mesh crib liner. I'm looking it's it's only 1.2 pounds, so it's a really light product, so it'd be cheaper to get those shipped over from China. This particular one has 1400 reviews, but we don't we're not necessarily looking at just one item, we're just looking at that type of product right now. So if we want to look more at that specific product, you just click on the ASIN number within the tool and it's going to pull it up in Amazon. So this one is listed in crib bedding liners under under baby. It's twenty dollars, so So the next step, I'm actually going to actually type in mesh, mesh crib liner. I want to do a search for mesh crib liner and see what comes up. Now I can see that there's all these different products come up. They're all right around 20 to between 20 and 30 dollars it looks like mostly. Here's some down around 15. Now we kind of want to analyze all these items. And this is what's known as the first page in Amazon, the first page of search results for this term mesh crib liner. And that's kind of what we want to analyze and, and and just see how the other sellers are doing. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. And first, since we're already working with the Amazuite products, I'm going to show you the Azon product inspector. So again, this is going to be just like searching for that first page in Amazon. We're going to type in mesh crib liner, exact match. We're searching in baby. Now I want to look at just the first page of results. So I hit the play button, or the, or the start button I guess that would be. And we're going to expand this. And I'm going to extract all the data. So basically what this did, this whole page of results right here, is exactly the same as this page of results right here for mesh crib liner, searching in baby. But we're just looking at all the data rather than looking at each individual item on Amazon. The long way to do this if you didn't want to buy these tools is you could click on each item one by one in Amazon. Maybe click on this Airflow Baby 14 inch and, and find all this information yourself by looking at the listing. So you, you can kind of see you know, the price, the average reviews, the number of reviews, the best seller rank somewhere down here, the, the weight, all that stuff you can find on the listing. You just got to look for it and you could start your own spreadsheet and make your own sheet of data. I'm going to go back to that page. So Azon Product Inspector gives us all that. The ranks are all here. The prices. Just a lot of real good information. So we can see the number of reviews and the ranks. We're pretty much looking for stuff that ranks, I don't know, but the, the experts I think say look for things that rank between 500 and 5,000 or, or less than 10,000. That's stuff you should be able to compete with or, or stuff that should sell well. And then you're kind of looking at the number of reviews that they got and trying to determine whether you can get that many reviews fairly quickly or not and possibly get your own listing ranking on this page. So this particular page, the, the top item has a lot of reviews. It would be hard to get that many reviews in a short period of time. And the next two listings have about 200 reviews, but everything else on the front page has less than like 50 or 60 reviews and be, it'd be pretty easy to get those reviews yourselves and probably get your own listing ranking on this page pretty easy. 
So that's that's another way to look at to inspect the products. And one last thing in the Amos Suite product that I wanted to show you is this Azon keyword generator. Say we're interested in doing something around cribs. Type in crib and hit start. And basically this is going to go through and show me every keyword that is ever auto-suggested on Amazon when somebody types in the word crib. So if you just need any any kind of product ideas or anything you want to start, just if you have no idea where to start and, and what to search for to find a product, just type a word that you're interested in here and all kinds of stuff will come up like crib and dresser, crib aquarium, crib and changer, crib bedding, crib blanket, crib bumper pads, crib canopy, that might be an interesting to look at, a crib canopy, crib converter, there's just in any any word combination that ever has come up on Amazon that people have ever searched for and that they suggest you search for that has to do with the word that you type in here like crib they'll show you right here and you can do this for as many words as you want so that's kind of a neat tool and it's something that I actually use to find a product that I'm gonna probably go about sourcing so that that's everything that has to do with Amos Suite and now there's one more tool that I got to show you that that I just purchased recently myself it's called Jungle Scout what Jungle Scout is it's actually a Chrome extension you can see the little icon for it up here in my screen and the way this works is when you're on a search results page here in Amazon you just click on this Jungle Scout icon and this is not a free tool this is a paid tool a paid extension that I had to get that goes with Google Chrome once you're inside an Amazon listing or in, on pretty much on any Amazon page that has products listed, you click the Jungle Scout icon here, and it's going to pull in information similar to what we saw on the Amazon product inspector, but there's a little bit of a difference with this. So this is pulling up everything on this first page, and the thing that Jungle Scout has that the Amazon product inspector does not have is they can tell you the estimated number of sales and estimated revenue for each product on that page and the way they do that they have a formula that, I mean Amazon doesn't just give away this information uh, the creators of Jungle Scout have a formula and they were able to calculate this and figure it out and it's it's pretty darn close and, and these are numbers for the previous 30 days so this number one listing in the, in the last 30 days it sells for $20 They've sold about 1,951 units for a revenue of $39,000. You can see these are all the same products, 1,400 reviews, 200, 264. All the same ones that showed up on here, well, obviously, and and in the Azon Product Inspector. So what, what we're looking for in Jungle Scout, we, we want to determine whether we think we can break into this top page, preferably in the top 10 if we can. So what we're looking at is number of reviews and if we think we can beat or get as many number of reviews we're looking at their rankings to make sure not every single product is ranked too high like this number one is ranked 275 and that would be hard to beat but the rest of all these up until number 12 they're all under 10,000 most of them are under 5,000 so that looks really good and then estimated sales we want the total estimated sales for the top 10, if you add all the top 10 together, we want that to be at least 3,000. Because we're figuring we can, and I learned this from somebody else, but we figure we can get at least 10% of that market share. 10% of 3,000 is 300. And 300 sales per month is about 10 sales per day. And that's kind of what we're shooting for. And so this is well over 3,000 if you add all these together. And so th this item is actually looking pretty good. So, and again, you can run Jungle Scout anywhere. I could go to this this crib bedding bumpers category page. So this this shows the top things in in this subcategory of a subcategory, and we can run Jungle Scout again. It takes just a moment for it to load. It it has to pull in all that data from Amazon.
Okay, now this one, again, the number of sales is pretty close to 3,000, I think. Just adding this up in my head, it's close to 3,000 for the top 10, although this top uh, seller here kind of dominates and takes about 2,000 of that 3,000. So typically, if you have one dominating uh, listing like this, you kind of want to ignore them and look at the rest and see if you can compete with the rest. And I'm, I'm looking at number of reviews. And it looks like I can compete with or beat most of these. It's, it's not hard to get 50 or 100 reviews in a short period of time. And then the price looks good. You know, everything's looking good for this breathable, I don't know, mesh, mesh crib liners. And they're selling for anywhere, you know, around 20 to $25 is kind of an average price. And also Jungle Scout gives you the average price for everything on that page. Average number of reviews, average sales sales rank so that's kind of how jungle scout works and honestly that this jungle scout tool is so so powerful that, that there's no chance I would attempt to do Amazon research for a private label project without jungle scout I mean I already had Amazon suite and I'm using those tools and they're great and they have their place but getting this es estimated sales and estimated revenue information it's kind of priceless. These are like the main numbers I, I look at to determine whether I'm going to go into a market or not. And and there's no other tool that I know of that gives you this information. So yeah, J Jungle Scout is kind of a must-have. So I'm just going to close that. And then the next step would be to determine the viability of whether I'm going to source this or not. Probably go over to Alibaba. That's where you find suppliers in China to source. And just real quickly, I'm not going to get real detailed here, but just real quickly, I'm going to type in mesh crib liner and just get an idea of the pricing for those things. So we know we can sell them for 20 to 25 on Amazon. How much can we get them for from China? Okay, seven to eight dollars it says for that one. This one is a, a whole crib set, so we're going to ignore that one. Mesh crib liner, three fifty to five fifty. Five to seven dollars. One to two dollars a yard. Seven to eight dollars for one with some designs on it. This one looks interesting. There's a bunch of different colors that they offer, so this is one I would probably click at and look closer at, but they're saying five to seven dollars, so if we can just guess that we can get these for five to seven dollars a piece and then add in shipping costs and Amazon FBA costs on top of that. If we can sell them for twenty to twenty five minus our manufacturing costs and our shipping and our Amazon fees, you need to determine whether we can make a profit on that or not. So I don't know if I'd go after this product or not. I'd have to dig a little bit deeper, but that's kind of the gist of what I wanted to show you as far as you know, looking for products and, and finding products to source on Amazon. And you can literally spend hours and even days looking at all, a whole bunch of different categories and products, and you really should look at at least 10 to 20 different products using this, this same process. You know, and, and just after you look at 10 to 20, keep a list of everything you looked at and and then find the best one, determine what most interests you and what you think you have the best chance of selling and profiting on and and just kind of take it from there. So this is kind of the process I've been playing around with the last couple of weeks, and I'm actually past this phase personally. I'm in the phase where I'm looking for a supplier in China, but I just kind of wanted to show you this because I have these tools, and and a lot of people want to know how to use these tools. Like, how do you use Amazon Suite to find products to source in China, and, and how do you use Jungle Scout? So I just really wanted to show you those tools and how I'm using them, and I think that's going to be about it. Be about it for this video. So, uh, guess this is where I say good day. See ya.